So MediaTek 6595 any phone powered with this hardware will most probably give you 5 point multi touch which is something the case with this one. Now let's take a look over the complete hardware information of the MediaTek 6595 chipset or any phone uh, which is going to come with this hardware. Let's find out the system information over there. So we have the system information and the model for this phone is again MediaTek 6595 underscore phone underscore WQH DV2 again this is the name because this is not the final phone this is again uh, engineering reference design which they are using so the final phone will come with the same hardware but the look and feel of the phone coming from Micromax Carbon Lava or Zolo will be different if it comes with this chipset taking a look over the hardware information we have ARM B7 processor on this device and again it is a combination of Cortex A17 and Cortex A7 cores as far as the CPU is concerned clocked at 1.7 gigahertz octa-core CPU it is MediaTek 6595 taking look over the display we have the display resolution which is 1440 into 2368 because some part of the screen resolution is being taken up by these touch capacitor buttons which are within the display so that is why it is slightly less otherwise it is a 2k display we have gpu coming from imagination technologies power via rogue han and this gpu is clocked at 600 megahertz as per the information which we have got and these are the sensors which you will get on this device which includes this accelerant sensor proximity sensor gyroscope sensor orientation magnetic field sensor is also there pressure sensor is also there rotation vector gravity and linear acceleration sensor so any phone which is going to come with mediatek 6595 chipset just like this one will have all these sensors supported and again manufacturers can always uh, choose which forms which sensors to have on the phone and which sensors they don't want to have so that they can reduce the cost of the phone but this is the complete list of sensors which you will get with mediatek 6595 so here we have got the score for nina mark on this device which is powered with mediatek 6595 chipset and we have got a pretty good score of 61.9 fps which is one of the best score and again you can play high definition games on any phone powered with mediatek 6595 chipset just like this one as you can see graphics are very smooth and very nice it does support these video and live wallpapers which is good and this wallpaper as you can see in the background is uh, reacting to the accelerometer sensor movements so when i move the phone like this it can actually show me the plant moving there on the screen which is good so the device when it comes to any smartphone which is going to come with mediatek 6595 will have a very good gaming performance because the nina mark score is also very good and the cpu and the gpu both are powered to handle high definition games really well the gpu is clocked at 600 megahertz it is the latest generation of power vr gpu which is power vr series 6 gpu so you will have a very good gaming performance on any device which is going to run with mediatek 6595 chipset just like this phone now to give you a perspective of how does gaming will look like on a phone which will run with mediatek 6595 chipset we are going to play this casual game which is temple run over and this is again slightly graphic intensive so you will get an idea how does the sensor react and how does the phone actually uh, do the gaming uh, when you have mediatek 6595 chipset and with the latest power vr series 6 gpu which is clocked at 600 megahertz so let me just play this game now so as far as loudness is concerned the loudness which comes out from the loudspeaker is one of the loudest which i have heard so loudspeaker is fairly loud on this phone touch screen is very responsive graphics are also very good i can see the shadow of the player is well which is good and everything as far as gaming controls are concerned are accessible on this device when it comes to playing this game i can easily play this game viewing angles are also good again any phone which is going to come with mediatek 659 5 chipset will have IPS LCD display so you can see that the wing angles are also good when you play this game and touch screen is responsive graphics of the game are working pretty fine everything is responsive and smooth on this device when you play any of these games like this or even when you play high definition games like Mortal Kombat 5 and Frontline Command to D-Day, Blood and Glory all those games will also run perfectly fine on this device with the kind of hardware it has as you can see so this device or any any device which is going to be powered with mediatek 6595 will perform great on the gaming department 
One thing which I have experienced is that when it comes to gaming, uh, this device is powered, again it is an engineering reference design, but this device is powered with MediaTek 6595 chipset and I can experience slight amount of heating over here at the back side when I played a game for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. But again this is a reference design so the final phone will come with a better heating, you can say resolution for heating. So in that case, the final phone may not heat that much, but this device as of now was heating slightly more. 